Good morning, YouTubers. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. There in Maine, along the Nora Mega Fault Zone, which was recently reactivated, there's been 10 earthquakes within just this one location in the last week. The most recent was a magnitude 3.0 at 2.55 a.m. local time. 23 people said they felt this earthquake. Here's the felt map that was sent into USGS. A lot of times USGS doesn't report earthquakes. Uh, so if you feel one, you can go to the USGS website. And then over here on the right, you can put in your report of your earthquake that is not posted by USGS. Might be a way to get them to start being more honest about all the earthquakes. Now, report an unknown event. You just click on that. Going to Google Earth, here's the Nora Mega Fault Zone. It's a strike slip, what they call a dextral strike zone. The top por portion of the fault is kind of moving um, northeast where the bottom is moving um, s southwest. This area is capable of having a large earthquake. Uh, let's see, where was it? Was There was an earthquake that created a landslide and a tsunami. That was in 1929, where they had a magnitude 7.2 along this fault zone. And it created a landslide that, um, yeah, it devastated a, a lot of areas along the coast and fishing ports and things like that. You can see on Google Earth the remnants of that undersea landslide. 27 people died in what's called the Newfoundland Tidal Wave. Women and children were among those that drowned. Buildings were swept away. Communication was cut off. The earthquake triggered a large submarine slump, estimated about 200 uh, cubic kilometers, which would be about 125 uh, square miles of material that moved along the slump, which ruptured 12 transatlantic cables in multiple places. The tsunami was recorded along the eastern seaboard as far as South Carolina and across the Atlantic Ocean in Portugal. So here's the felt reports for the different location. Columbia Falls, they got four responses there, intensity level of three. Uh, another one from another area in Columbia Falls. Uh, Jonesboro, three responses there. Uh, Jones uh, Port, two. Let's see, uh, another two there. Um, Addison, one report there. And another one from Addison. Intensity level three means that it was felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Standing automobiles would have been rocking slightly. Would have been uh, distinguished as maybe like a vibration of a passing truck. This is a fairly wide fault zone. Uh, depending on the location. Where the fault zone um, is at. It extends from New Hampshire to New Brunswick. This fault system is one of the longest and most studied fault systems in the northeastern United States. The fault system cuts through the Appalachian Mountains and is part of the complex record. Um, and it goes all the way up through New England. Yeah, this is a very old fault system when uh, the earth was shifting around, moving. Um, some areas are five kilometers. And other areas are up to 40 kilometers wide for this fault system. 40 kilometers is about 25 miles. They did a study at the Sand Hill Corner. corner. It's a shear zone. And it's somewhere between 300 to 500 meters wide. So I drew that area out. And that is less than a mile wide. But in that area, they know they have a lot of strain that has built up. Like I said, this area is going to be moving uh, northeast. 
there's been more recent earthquakes. Here is the uh, 3.0. It actually came in as a magnitude 3.16. Yesterday at about 12.48 a.m. local time, they did report this one as a magnitude 2.5 but it was actually closer to a magnitude uh, 3.0. It comes in as a magnitude 2.90. That one there at 13.06. Now that's universal time. They're saying is a magnitude 1.7. But over here, let me bring it over. We've got a small one right there that's not being reported. And it's shallow at 13.56. Um, 1358. We got another one down here. Uh, 2358. That would have been at 755 p.m. last night. And we got another one, looks like right here. Um, 2305 Universal. So that would have been 705 p.m. Then we got another small one. Oh. Wrong spot. No, but just looks like um, a slow moving tremor. Yeah, prior to this 3.0, let me pull it over. We had uh, slow moving tremors going on right through here. And it probably lasted, oh, maybe two hours, I want to say. Looks like we got something small there. Another slow moving tremor. And more recently right there so did you feel this earthquake let me bring it out for you if so put those comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing always be prepared for a disaster keep prepping and i'll talk to you later god bless you